In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the Apostle Paul writes, If Jesus Christ is not risen from the dead, we're a pack of fools for believing in him. Repeatedly in the Gospel of John, John points out, Jesus performed this miracle, and people put their faith in him. John goes on and writes that I have written these things to you so that you may know the reason for your belief. Faith does not breed on thin air. It breeds on the facts. Doubt can be silenced by the facts. It can be answered by truth. It can be reassured by understanding. You and I, as thinking human beings, struggle with doubt. There is no guarantee, there is no final proof that God exists. There's no final proof that Jesus Christ is God in human form. There's no final proof that Jesus Christ died on a cross for our sins and then three days later he rose from the dead. But the overwhelming amount of facts points to the existence of God. The overwhelming amount of facts points to Jesus Christ being more than just a good teacher, being actually God in human form. The overwhelming amount of facts points to him dying on a cross for our sins, him rising from the dead, because the evidence is Jesus doesn't lie. Jesus speaks the truth. Why? Because he is in touch with reality. But you and I as human beings struggle with doubt. That is why we cannot simply breed on thin air. Instead, we need to study the issue, to think carefully about what are the options, what is the most plausible, what is the most reasonable explanation for reality as we experience it, for history as we read about it in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John.